I just want to preface this video and let you guys know how cold it is outside. It is about 45 degrees on the watch right now. And I really do not want to do this right now, but I also want my wheels back on the car. So today we are working on getting them back on. These spacers just came in. And I guess without further ado, I'm going to get these opened up and make sure that they fit everything okay. And then we'll get the wheels back onto the car. So there isn't a shipping return label in this box, so it looks like I'm not going to be sending the old ones back. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully these even fit. I don't have a invoice or anything in here as well, so I guess we're going to check to make sure these fit the wheels first, and then we will go see if they fit onto the car. So let me get these unpackaged out of the ceram wrap that they put them in, and we'll see if it fits into the back of the wheel. Alright, so they fit good into the back of the wheel. Now to see if they fit into the car. All right, guys, we haven't even started yet, and I am super cold. We both have gloves on. Oh, by the way, Gavin is here. He's gonna help me out do all this stuff. I have gloves on and everything, but it's just it's so cold out here. It's insane. Hey, but rules are rules. You gotta get on the ground and see where that's at. All right, I don't care. It's your car. But uh, we're about to take the first wheel off. Just being so loud with the jack over here. So we're about to take the first wheel off and clean everything up and get the spacer on there. I'm gonna kind of probably just record the first wheel and then I probably won't record the other three just to get it done and out of the way because it's freaking freezing out here. But yeah, we're gonna work through this and get these wheels back on. Throwing gang signs out here. Gang signs. All right, so I'm just gonna set the camera up right here for you guys to see and I'll kind of talk through what I'm doing as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning this off, and I just have a wire wheel brush that I'm going to be using to get most of this rust and stuff off, so this is a clean surface for the spacers to go on. Alright, so there is most of that stuff cleaned off, and the next step is going to be putting anti-seize on the hub and around this hub-centric ring. Okay, so you also want to put a little bit around the hub centric ring to make sure it doesn't fuse to that either. And try not to be a dumbass and get this on your brake rotor like I did, because then if you get it on your brake rotor like up here, it's your brakes aren't gonna stop because this is like a uh, it's like a lubricant, so you wanna clean that off with some alcohol or something to get it completely cleaned. So there I got some around all of that and now I just need to clean off my brake rotor and we should be good. Here's the first spacer. We're gonna make sure this fits on here. Oh yes, dude, they drilled it to the right pattern, or did they? That's a good <laughs> that so hard. Oh, dude. What? It's a little snug because the hub centric ring. Dude. That's all right, it goes on there. Dude, that's so good yeah. for it. When we tighten it down, that's gonna fit really well. All right, the other thing we're gonna have to worry about is these, how far they stick out because I might have to cut them off a little bit. All right guys, I'm gonna try to explain to you what's happening, and it's kind of hard to see, but right in here, there is a gap between the spacer and the wheel, and that's because my stock studs are sticking out too far. And when I take this wheel off, you'll be able to see that I can grind them down a little bit so it'll fit. Okay, so on my stock studs, which are right here, you can see there's a quite a bit of space before the threads start, so we're gonna have to grind that down. And we're just going to pop this uh, spacer off so we can do that real quick and get all five of them ground down a little bit. So hopefully these will fit on there. Alright guys. What's up buddy? Alright guys, we're about to see what the new fitment looks like. I got all of these studs grounded down good enough. This thing will fit flush.
This is gonna suck though. We have to grind down like 15 more. All right, guys, we're gonna get to work getting the other three on. First one is on, looks really nice, and I'm so excited to get all these on. So probably gonna be a little bit of work, probably another hour or so, since we have to grind down these, uh, uh, I lost the word, studs for the stock wheels. We have to grind them down a little bit so these spacers will fit since they are 0.75 inches instead of one inch. So we're gonna get to work and I'll catch up to you guys when we're finished getting all the wheels on. Spacers don't make a huge difference in pokes, so I'm happy about that, but hopefully It's not gonna rub right here anymore like it was you can even see I don't know if you can see on video But there's like rubber hanging from right there, so hopefully it won't rub very much anymore and Just look how sticky these tires are they pick up everything off the ground. It's insane, but wheels are really clean and I'm super happy Pull my car. What? Yeah, there you go. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dude, that was recording? so loud. Did you record that? <laughs> yeah. That was so loud, dude. dude. That, we have the wheels completely on, and it looks so good. I'm so happy to have these wheels back on. I've just come here. There's some water behind me, and I'm probably going to do a little montage for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy that montage. Actually, let's just jump into that right now. Cue montage in three, two, one, go. All right, so nothing super impressive, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. Also, go check out my Instagram. I created a new one for my cruise. It's called Kansas City Cruise on Instagram. I post purely pictures of my car and stuff that, that has to relate to my car. So go check that out. I'll probably just put it across the screen for you guys. I think that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with this experience. Um, I'm so happy to have my wheels back on, and I hope you guys are just as happy as I am. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more content like this one. Share the video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace.